Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever, it's been too long, but I'm back, okay? Um, before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and add me on Instagram, well, follow me on Instagram at pretty underscore underscore Thai, and you can add me on Snap, T-Y-A-E-J-A, -A. and yeah. So today's video is gonna be about how I laid my frontal. So right now what I have in my head is an install. I've had the install probably for like four weeks now. But we all know that every time, you know, we any of us get a frontal, it does not last four weeks. It lasts probably like a week or two weeks. So I'm going to show you how I maintain my frontal. If you have a wig, install, whatever the case may be, this video could still help. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the same thing, same process. They're all the same. So yeah. So if you want to see how I laid my frontal, just keep watching. Well, but basically what I did was I put the cap on, you know, how you always put the cap on. You, I cut it this way. And something that I actually like to do is I actually like to use beeswax mixed with the, um, the got to be glue, the spray can. And I just spray it all over here because it, I realized that like using the beeswax it gets really really flat right here you know so I like to use that because you know this this front part needs to be extremely extremely flat that's just the beeswax right there but um it like gets really 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 flat and that's what I like and that's what I be looking for so yeah and um yeah let's get into the video Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking my makeup and my brush to, you know, blend in the the cap, you know, with my skin. And I'm going to just keep doing that, you know, until I'm satisfied. So y'all can keep doing it until you're satisfied. You know, just make sure, like, you know, you get everything. Like, it just blends in. Like, you really cut all your hair off. Like, you're bald. Next, I'm just making sure that, you know, the, um... The stocking cap is flat, flat on my head. I'm just wiping off any excess, you know, makeup I don't need, you know, around the edges. Then I take my got to be glue and we're gonna get started. I just sprayed a little bit, but usually I be spraying a lot because, you know, got to be glue. <sighs> got to be glue does not last, I'm not gonna lie, like for a week. It is not. Like, I put it on. And I'll do my frontal maybe one day, and I'll have to do it again maybe like two days from the time I did it. So I like to put a lot, you know. Plus, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know if it does anything, <laughs> you know, with the blending. But I don't know. I just feel like I look bald. So, yeah, I like to put a lot. You guys don't have to put a lot, but I don't know. I would advise you to put a lot if, you know, you really don't feel like doing it the next day or the day after that. I would advise y'all to put like you know a good amount this part gives me anxiety bro because sometimes my hands be sticking to it then i gotta glue it again like uh so i just try my best to you know put it all the way like until i can't pull it down anymore just pull it all the way and you just want to hold it for a little minute because if you let go, as soon as you pull it back, it might just, you know, go all the way back and you need to start all over again. So just make sure you hold it down before you let go. My hair looks crazy. <laughs> but yeah, same process for the two sides, for the left and right sides. Yeah, so I just lift it up, lift up my frontal. Oh my gosh, I look like a crazy person. And I just, you know, forgot to pop it. I put too much. That was too much. That was way too much. 
but yeah and you just keep doing the same process you gotta spray blow dry spray blow dry and then you pull it down once you pull it down get your comb and you know before I had this comb I actually used to use my tweezers so to, like the end of it so the tweezers actually use fine too and what I like to do when I um when I mat down my frontal is I really like to just push out the baby hairs because I don't know it gives it more of a natural look when I do this like while I'm laying the frontal down because I know some people what they would do is they do the baby hair at the last but I don't know I like to just do it this way and just like I don't know what I don't know what the like the term is I don't scruff it out or whatever like I like to pull it down and whatever but I don't it just gives it like a more natural look like it's not a frontal like this is your hair like, who's telling you what? Nobody. Because it's your hair. They don't have to know what's a front. Yeah, and you just keep putting glue. Putting glue. Tell you, I put a lot. I be putting a lot. I be really OD on my own. Got to be glue. That's really why I buy two bottles at a time. At a time. Like, every time I go shopping for a got to be glue spray can, I get two. Just in case. And I just pull it down. And I know y'all saying like, oh, she looks, I mean, your front looks crazy. I know we see the lines. You guys can see the lace right now, but just bear with me. Bear with me. We're about to finesse. We're really about to finesse. Just, just keep watching. I gotcha. Mm-hmm. Okay, take your comb. Yep, yep, yep. Now it's time to really cut it because that lace part was bothering me. When you've had a lace for four weeks, it starts to get a little crazy looking. So you you do have to cut it. Wigs or you know an install or whatever. You're really supposed to have an install in your head for about two weeks, but listen, installs do not be cheap. <laughs> They do not be cheap. So you just, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my comb, making that frontal as flat as possible, making sure that it is going into my skin. Like I do not want nobody to be like, oh, I see your lace. Like, no, no, you can't. Make sure you just really like press it and do it while you're blow drying. Cause I know some people, they don't do that. You just gotta like keep doing this. It's a process, but you know what? It's a process that is worth it. Because we're frontal. Now tie it down. Tie it down for about maybe like a minute. And then while we tie it down for a minute, I gotta brush my hair out. This hair is actually straight hair, but when I curl it, I like to front like it's body wave. The curls drops like all the time. Cause you're not really supposed to curl straight hair. I should have got body wave, but whatever. It's still cute. Now it's time to take it off. But what lace? What lace? What lace? I'm just brushing it. You know. I like to put alcohol on my frontals after taking my scarf off because sometimes there can be excess glue just like lying around. You won't see it when you first do it, but it'll show up like 20 minutes later and you won't even know sometimes because you'll be out and people will, look like, people will look at you like you're crazy so make sure you put alcohol you know around your frontal 
seriously like a crazy person. My part is like, so thick and I don't understand why it's like that, but it's whatever. This part is optional. You don't have to curl your hair if you don't want to. You can straighten and do whatever you want with it. Um, because the frontal part is now done, I'm just styling it. Um, for those of you who do want to know how I got my hair curly, you know, I can take y'all curling irons out. And if you do have curly, if you do have curly hair in right now, or body wave that's be nice because your curls will not be dropping no but look how natural my hairline looks like what 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 tell me that does not look like my hair like what This part is definitely, definitely needed. Definitely, definitely needed. Some people do not, you know, press down their frontals or the um get the top top half of your head when you have a frontal. It just makes it look, you know, more natural. And I think the edges look a little more natural too when you are. Thanks for watching guys.